Hey YouTubers, a uh, short video about how I insulated the ceiling of my cargo trailer and finished it for under $100 in materials. So your cargo trailer when you buy it is going to look like this, open, uh, thin aluminum sheet, your steel tubing structure, and nothing else up there. Um, so what I decided to use for the insulation is this white foam. Uh, got that from Home Depot. Comes in 4x8 sheets. It was $12 per sheet. This is a 7x14 V-Nose trailer and three sheets will do this whole trailer uh, with zero waste. I uh, was able to use full pieces um, except in the nose where I had to patch in um, some, some pieces that I had but basically you end up with zero waste. Uh, this stuff has a clear uh, finish on one side, some kind of a, a um, coating, and then on the back side it has the foil. Cuts with the utility knife uh, real easily, no mess. Uh, you basically just cut it to size and press fit it into place. You don't want to have it too tight. Um, if you make it a little too loose, you just use a little bit of tape to hold it up in place um, temporarily. As you can see here, the stuff just kind of fits up in there, kind of sagging down here, but it'll get pressed up into place with the, uh, with the sealing material. Uh, these steel tubes are an inch and a quarter, and the insulation is one inch, so you have a little bit of, of uh, space in there. I made the pieces kind of long so they fit up in there and, and hold in place real well. So that's what I did for the insulation part of it. For the finishing, I decided to use this um, material here, some kind of a masonite product, again from Home Depot, uh, eighth inch thick, comes in four by eight sheets. For this trailer, four sheets, and this material was about $10 per sheet. So three sheets of the insulation, four sheets of the um, sheeting material. Uh, not sure how well this is going to work out, but it is kind of nice. It has a coating on it that could be wiped off. Uh, seems fairly durable. The back side is not coated. Um, it is fragile. you got to be careful handling it or you'll ding up the edges. Uh, cuts just with a regular circular saw pretty easily. Um, and we'll see how it works out. Um, to, it's, it, is, it is not uh, very rigid, uh, it does a little bit of sagging. Um, I have two sheets that I've installed and they've come out pretty, pretty nicely. Um, pretty tight here in the center, you can see where it sags, then my light fixture is going to go right here. But otherwise not too bad. Um, I'm fairly happy with it so far. Um, the way that I installed this is I have a, a drill bit. As you notice, my drill is really short, and the reason for that is that as you're drilling, if this shows, you're going to drill through your masonite material into the steel. If you happen to miss your stud, you don't want to go up through your aluminum. So by having a short drill bit, if you miss, there's no way you can go further than this. So this is a pilot drill. I'm drilling one hole at a time and then putting a fastener in. Uh, the fasteners that I've decided to use is a uh, hex drive washer head along with an additional flat washer. Uh, my thought there is that the small head of the screw probably would pull through. So this seems to work pretty well as you can see, nice and tight. It's not, it's not countersinking into this material at all uh, and I think it'll be okay, time will tell. Uh, could have gone with a f uh, larger fender washer, but at this time I think uh, that'll work. So basically I started with um, the center sheet here, and I start with the center hole, and then I work side to side, one hole at a time. I don't do all my pre-drilling, and the reason is we want to keep this nice and flat. I don't want to get any pillows in here, so you kind of work your way towards the edges, and then work your way towards the back of the trailer. So I started with this sheet, and then I moved on to this sheet here, ran it to the back. I did come up short of the um, 
wind up mechanism just because there's no way I could get above that and I didn't want to interfere with this in case it needs any kind of uh, service later. Um, it is kind of a two-man operation although I did it by myself. Uh, what I did was I temporarily put up a piece of uh, angle iron that I had here. As you can see I got one over here so that kind of holds the edges when you put it in place and then a six-foot step ladder in the middle uh, holds the sheet up in the center and then uh, you get it in place and you got to make sure that you get this thing right on the center of your of your studs. I'm a little off here. Um, these studs are 24 inch centers so they'll take a 48 inch wide sheet uh, and make sure everything's nice and straight. When you cut your length leave yourself a little bit of play on the ends. You don't want to be fighting the end of this um, or you'll have a problem. I think what I'm going to do is run some kind of a piece of angle or some kind of trim strip right along here and just kind of let this sheet float rather than fasten it on the ends. Uh, that'll kind of make it look a little, little more finished, uh, hold that up. Uh, but so far so good. Uh, I think it's, uh, it looks good, it should be reflective. Um, it will protect the ceiling if you're loading stuff in here. Um, you know, you don't want a shovel or something to hit this and possibly pierce it. Uh, so not only does it look good, but it's, it's going to add some protection to the ceiling. Um, cutting this stuff, you know, you just measure and cut it. No, no big trick there. Uh, so my next sheet here is going to be the one that goes over the vent. I'll have to measure for this cutout. I don't have to be real accurate. This is the um, trim piece that comes with the vent. You cut that to size for the depth of your ceiling and uh, and that'll go around this opening so I don't have to be real precise on my opening here uh, cut out for my wires for my lighting and I'll put this sheet up so I'm gonna go ahead and get that cut and uh, we'll fast forward to that step okay fast forward to the next sheet here um, so this is the method that I'm using to hold up my um, pieces as I work. Uh, again, just have a little piece of angle tacked on here loose on both sides. That allows me to put the sheet on and then a six foot step ladder with this box on the top is almost perfect. So I get the sheet up there and then I get it nice and lined up and you work your way back. So here I got my seam as close as possible. On this one I'm trying to use one fastener for two pieces. We'll see how that works. Um, back here I used two fasteners, it's kind of tight to get that on that piece of tubing, the tubing's not real wide. So I tried this, but again you want to work from one side back. Um, I made my cutout for the vent, I got enough space here um, where the trim ring will cover this up. Got my whole cutout for my light. So working from this way towards the front of the trailer so I don't get any bubbles. Work down the middle, then work out to the side. Um, this holds this just holds the uh, the insulation up again don't cut it too long because you don't want to be fighting the edge of this if it's too long you're gonna end up with a problem so leave yourself a little bit of space there and just you know measure measure twice cut three times and make sure your screws are in the right place and uh, I'll come back when I get to the next sheet okay here's the finished product all my sheet is in Turned out really nice, I think. Stayed fairly flat along the top. On the edges, I chose to go with a one inch aluminum angle and not actually attach the um, paneling to the uh, framing up there so that the paneling can kind of float and expand and contract uh, maybe with temperature or as the trailer twists so I don't get any bowing. Uh, the rest of the, the, the ceiling stayed nice and flat. Uh, the trim ring for the vent turned out really nice. The lights trimmed out really nice. Um, came up to the front. I only needed a half sheet across the front and I used a piece of drop to do the nose. Um, held it up by a couple of little aluminum clips. Um, so four sheets of the um, masonite board and three sheets of the foam uh, did the whole trailer. Uh, I think it turned out nice. Should work well for thermal insulation. Uh, for sound if you're in here during a rainstorm uh, looks like just gives the, the trailer a uh, more finished appearance 
and I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope you guys learned something and maybe can take some of these ideas and use it for yourself. Good luck.